Welcome to game two between, well, actually, I don't know the order of these. So if I say the wrong order in the initial, just a bit of forgiveness, if you look at the uh, Team Liquid ladder, I'm not sure that the replays were given to me. They, they just handed me the replays. I don't know if they're uh, in the right order or not. I will try to give a link to the general tournament bracket. There, there, there will be spoilers there, potentially, if you, you look at it. But regardless, this is mostly a show match tournament to begin with. Crossing the upper right corner, starting as the blue Zerg up left hand corner, we have DeWalt starting as the pink Protoss. This is on Polypoid, which is just fun to say. It has a nice pop, pop to it. Polypoid. Maybe I can do the Spanish P, pop. Um, Overlord is making its way towards DeWalt's base, so should have that Overlord scout, which can be a bit of an advantage. First pylon down. Wondering if, and we are, uh, extractor trick to get an additional drone, which suggests that we're going to go for, I mean, it's possible. I'm wondering if we're going to see that uh, 10 hatch build or if we're going to see a, a quick pool from this. I think this might be a 10 hatch. Yeah, which interesting. I've seen the nine hatch variation. This is the 10 hatch variation of this build. Very interesting. But essentially what this does is this allows you to get that second hatchery up and repel early zealot pressure simultaneously. So gateway on the front, probe making its way across, and it forces, what it can do is if you do it just right, you can even flood zerglings. So you get your second hatchery up and you can potentially flood zerglings across. It slows your economy down, obviously, in the early game slightly. DeWalt getting first scout, so sees all of this and has a pretty good idea of it, is sealing himself in with a pylon so let's see if he gets a quick forge, looking for a quick forge somewhere in the background. I'm wondering if this is like a fake pylon. But here's the thing, this overlord scouts that gateway. So this, so Crossy probably not gonna fall from this. And now this pylon, yeah, can, oh, good cancellation on DeWalt's part. So he's trying to bait the drones down. This overlord was here. So Crossy getting a bit of an advantage as a result because he was concerned, and the first zealot starting to move out now, second zealot being built, because there was concern that, okay, I need to pull drones off the line. That would have been a big advantage to DeWalt. Because if the drones pull off the line, the economy is already stifled a little bit, and plus you want the zerglings behind it. Could have been, could have been a lot worse. Forge being built, the zealot making its way back towards the defensive posture, because it's going to need to. DeWalt still being annoying with this probe. Several zerglings being created. And the other advantage with his overlord on the front is it's already seeing these zealots and that forge being built. And it could even wander forward a little bit and make sure that there's a cannon there to keep things honest. And that's gonna allow those zerglings to, looks like some probes or the, the drones getting out of position. That's gonna allow these zerglings to re-engage, starting to try to box. Yeah, looks like they are able to get that probe out. Cannon warping in. And the zealots moving in to go ahead and push into a protective posture. So. As things stand, Crossy grabbing his gas now, significantly later. The Zealot's actually moving out in significant numbers. This is going to force, and actually Crossy just going to go right by it to try to drop on the cannon. Loses an additional Zergling. So he didn't see the cannon in position. Now he's going to be out of position to deal with these Zealots that are making his way towards his natural expansion. Additional Zerglings being produced. Now, he might get lucky, and as the Zerglings spawn in the front, he might get just the perfect sandwich on these Zealots. DeWalt going to go ahead and careen towards the 3 o'clock location to go ahead and spot that third hatchery. DeWalt just does a really good job of army anticipating his opponent's movement and being exactly where his opponent doesn't anticipate. It's almost like, yeah. It almost reminds me of like some first-person shooter like Quake-style maneuvers, to be honest. Uh, except, I guess, in this instance, great micro for DeWalt. Wow, so three Zealots, so getting wiped out, but still wiping out practically every Zergling. It's going to force more Zerglings to be built. Five kills on this Zealot, still annoying this hatchery. That's going to force more Zerglings. And a second Zealot making its way across. Nexus being built. Assimilator's been up for a while. It's so core in that back corner. So four Zerglings finally making their way across. And again, DeWalt, as he's moving this Zealot into that corner and forcing these Zerglings to engage a few at a time, Another Zealot making its way to that natural expansion, which might force additional Zerglings. 
but otherwise he might get a drone kill and he's going to get a scout on top of everything else and another zealot flooding out and i'm wondering if he's going to send this to the three o'clock base and this is what i'm talking about with the wall he just seems to keep his opponents on their heels through the match and just, really does a fantastic job in his troop movement in just anticipating where his opponent's going to try to sneak and finding kind of that corner to do so in between this zealot wandering up as well Citadel of a Dune being dropped. That's brave. So Lair's being spotted. And I'm wondering if this is just something he is anticipating against Crossy in particular. Where he knows Crossy sometimes when he knows that that Lair's been scouted. He will skip Spire. And opt instead to go into more 5 hatch Hydra play. We do see this 4th hatchery being planted down. So it looks like that might be the case. And in anticipation of that, DeWalt actually skipping his own gateway with that scout. And so he's going to grab a Citadel of a Dune, get Zealot leg speed. So kind of, and I, I'm wondering if this just is him knowing Crossy's style of play and his penchant for doing so. Another Zealot sneaking into this three o'clock location. I didn't even catch it as it was out on the map. Some nice drone drilling, but still doing a decent amount of economic disruption, that drone. So not getting any kills, but that's, yeah. So he's moving back to five hatchery play, but DeWalt, Almost feels like he's one step ahead, gateway there on the natural expansion, by getting that Citadel of a Dune and skipping his own Stargate. Never mind, he's going to fold back to his Stargate now, preventatorially. But that Zelt leg speed is going to be online sooner rather than later. Nice SimCity on the front. Hydralisk then. Up, so we are going to see more Hydralisks to deal with this. I like the kind of stare off between these Zerglings and that Zealot. In the meantime, level one weapons will come online because with all of the disruption that happened through all this match, there wasn't an opportunity really to get those Hydralisks on the front and harassment. Second gas is up, which suggests we're going to see, <coughs> excuse me, more gas heavy play. And it, we are seeing more gas heavy play with a double Stargate build <coughs> from DeWalt. And so DeWalt actually following this up saying like, okay, if you're not even going to build a Spire on second thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get plus one weapons. Potentially, I'm just going to flood the air with Corsairs, and then I'm going to have the Zealot Leg Speed, plus one weapons, everything else to go just seize air control and win the match from there. DeWalt able to get into Crossy's natural expansion before the Sultan Colony in position. Hydralis relying on the SimCity and grouped up. Some reinforcements coming down from the 3 o'clock location. The drones drilling, some of them getting wiped out. The Sultan Colony finally coming online. The Zealots not able to sneak up into the main, but they have just caused all sorts of havoc already at Crossy's natural expansion. Crossy is already, looks like, sent a lot of these drones to the main, now sending them back. But this is just going to buy time to get these. And I'm wondering if there is going to be plus one weapon. No plus one weapons just yet. But essentially, Crossy is going to seize air control, likely build Dark Templar behind this, looking for the Templar archives. There's the Templar archives. And so Crossy is going to have his work cut out for him. Evolution Chamber there at the 3 o'clock location. Getting a level 1 missile attack. Second extractor being grabbed from Crossy, finally. <clears throat> but with the sufficient amount of Zealots, with the level 1 weapons upgrade, their leg speed, and those Corsairs, could be very, very damaging. Stargate's remaining silent momentarily, but look for that to be a big shift when that Corsair count is sizable enough. They start fielding out. Wondering if this is maybe a mistake, because this, this has mostly been silent in the background. DeWalt still fielding on the map with the, the Zelts he has, now backing off as a significant amount of Hydralists are pressing forward. And Corsair is going to make its way towards the main just to kind of get eyes and check things out. The Zelts trying to draw these Hydralists to the corner. This is a little bit of an uncomfortable position for Crossy. Crossy now diving in. Psystorm's not there because of that double Stargate. The Zelts trying to engage from the rear. They do have those Hydralists pinned in towards those gateways, but now they're shifting back around. DeWalt pulling those, and I think DeWalt might have gotten caught with his pants down. Because he went for that double Stargate, he didn't have Psystorm. And these Hydralisks, with their upgrades, are starting to dance around and getting significant amounts of damage down. They might be able to win the game right here. DeWalt pulling probes off the line, trying to buy time for Psystorm to come online. The Hydralisks already flooding into that natural expansion. If they can pick off those High Templar... Before they have Psystorm upgraded, that will be game. 
Natural expansion currently breached. Finally, size storm coming on online. One size storm, second size storm, killing several of those hydralisks. Morphing an archon on the ramp to create a bit of a barrier. Still more hydralisks peeling forward, and I think Crossy might win it right here. It's going to be close. It's going to come down to size storms and two huge size storms right there, very much weakening that hydralisk force. The archon now joining the fray. More hydralisks flooding across the map. Trying to microwave their way back, but there's not a lot of cannons. There's no forge, I do not believe. And the Archons can melt rather rapidly against sufficient amount of Hydralisks. And that is all DeWalt has. I think DeWalt might have to GG in here in a second. Still clinging on. More Zelts flooding forward. Crossy continuing to push the Hydralisks up. And there's GG from DeWalt. Yeah, so going for the double Stargate. However, getting caught... And as a result, delaying his size storm. I'm wondering if that was a mistake or not. But getting caught out of position as a result. And Crossy, amazing decision making, dropping the hammer, diving in, taking out and just getting all sorts of hydrolysis in that natural expansion and winning the match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yay, BSL Season 13. Thanks for listening.